birthday, you are my friend yeah. One more year, pandem yeah. Go on, one love vibe Give thanks for life Next year, we're doing it again, yeah Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cindy Marvelous. This year, I was celebrating my birthday in Ghana. Come with me and my family as we go from Cape Coast to Accra. My first stop was Lemon Lounge and this is located in this Cape Coast. This is a espresso martini. We come here often I as the service is great and the food is delicious. It's really convenient and it's located right across the street from the Malcolm Plaza in Cape Coast. Thank you, Mr. Bartender. Francis? Thank you, sir. You did a very good job. <laughs> Thank you. A win is a win. <laughs> so then we met up with some friends at my other favorite joint in Cape Coast, Swaggers, for the best tilapia. <laughs> So if you decide to go here, make sure you tell them you want the fish well done. It ends up tasting like jerk fish and tell them to clean the guts. Apparently they don't and that's a thing here. So we left and had some drinks afterwards at one of my favorite spots. Faze Lounge and this is also in Cape Coast. I wanted to spend the day at the beach the next day so we went to Coconut Groove in Elmina and just laid out by the pool. Had a few drinks and really enjoyed the beauty, the sunshine, the warmth, the hospitality, and the great customer service. You're too stubborn, you're too stubborn, you're going to drop. You're going to drop and broke your ass. I am a Pisces and I am drawn to the water. If you want me, you can find me anywhere close to an ocean. So of course, I had to do an impromptu photo shoot. What do you guys think? The only thing is I wish the water really wasn't this rough. It's un You're unable to go in and actually enjoy it and swim, but um, it's still beautiful. So it was getting a little rough and I couldn't uh, enjoy the water anymore so I decided to go back to the poolside and my lunch was ready right on time. So I went to go divulge. Unfortunately, the pool was being cleaned, so we did not have the opportunity to go inside the water. Although other people did, but uh, yeah, not my people. We, we don't do green water. But anyways, we had fun by laying by the poolside. Still enjoying the Pisces season. Next month, it's mommy season. If you happy. From the bottom of my heart is true I wish that I could take a journey Ooh. Shout out to my liver, the real MVP of the weekend Another one, thank you Another one, thank you Another one, thank you Another one, thank you 
Miss Esther. Thank you. I don't get no candle, no nothing for my birthday, Miss Esther. So they surprised me with some ice cream and some fruits for my birthday. Thank you, ma'am. After dessert, I decided to go to the beach again and do a little meditation and just reflection on the year past and the year ahead. And what a better place to do it than here. Ghana is known to have some So then I headed back to the bar to find this. Somebody come get, where is my mom? I can't leave him alone for two seconds. The next morning we headed to Accra. Our way to Accra again to celebrate our birthday. Yes, our birthday. Thank you mom for having me. Mm -hmm. 25 again, celebrating the 26th year anniversary of my 21st birthday. <laughs> So getting to Accra from Cape Coast was pretty easy. We just uh, reserved one of these buses and they cost about 120 CDs per person and it's air conditioned, it's quite smooth, they provide water and it's an easy commute back and forth, you know? I believe the bus company's name is Francois and it's located in the heart of Cape Coast. I mean, it takes about two and a half hours. They drive really, really safe. I won't say slow, but you know, we got there, we arrived alive. Stay tuned. As much as I was fighting against coming to Accra first, you know, because everyone was saying that Accra was not Ghana, I do regret it because I absolutely love Accra. This is what I was used to. Um, you know, Cape Coast is very, very, very rural. And I thought coming from Jamaica that I could be acclimated to it but I did not nor was I ever accustomed to that type of living thing that I was from Kingston Jamaica Red Hill St. Andrew to be exact I personally don't know why I thought that it would be an easy transformation or transition coming from America and what I knew as my third world country in Jamaica to living in Cape Coast there is potential for growth and development. However, I just don't see it in the very near future. I do, however, see it in Accra. As you can see, everywhere you look, there's constructions, new buildings going up, the roads are much better. And in my personal opinion, for any diaspora coming to Ghana, this would be an easier transition than going into the rural areas that you're not accustomed to that type of primitive, for lack of a better word, living. This definitely would be a softer landing and an easier way to just uh, get into the life of living in Accra, or I should say Ghana. Most people that live in Accra, just like in Jamaica, you know, they live in Kingston and then they go to the countryside to vacation on the weekends or holiday. Cape Coast is a destination to get away from the hustle and bustle of the metropolitan city. 
it still needs a lot of improvement in my personal opinion as a younger person i did want to go and be somewhere you know quiet and rural but sadly for me personally it is very challenging when i first got here a lot of my Ghanaian friends that i have made on social media they asked me why was i in cape coast many of them told me that they don't go to cape coast ever i don't look like a cape coast person and i took offense to it but after being here for a year i get it it's the inconveniences a lot of people are still stuck in their old-fashioned ways and it's like it's frozen in time and that's okay for many people and i thought it would have been okay for me but after a while the inconveniences of the luxury of conveniences become a little bit too much to bear so anyway we made our first stop at the Akram mall we needed a little pick me up and i knew a great little coffee spot we've been here before and we absolutely loved it this mall pretty much has everything it has a big shop right you can get everything and anything that you wanted here and this the first time that i came here it was really really a relief to see the modern aesthetics that you were used to being in cape coast for so long i thought that cape coast was how all of ghana was and to be honest i was a little bit resentful i know it sounds ignorant but when that's all you see and those are the type of people that you are around it started to become suffocating when you come here and you see people that look like you and act like you and are friendly like you and easily approachable it was so refreshing now don't get me wrong the people of cape coast are warm and friendly but like i said it's very rural Please pardon my reaction. And I, really need a and I was a makeup artist at MAC for over 10 years at one of the biggest MAC stores in the world in Macy's Herald Square. So this is what we really came here for was a midday pick me up. And unfortunately, there aren't many coffee places in Cape Coast. And we miss this again. This is a luxury that we were talking about that we miss there's only one place that i know that has good coffee and it's very far from where we are so then we checked into our airbnb look at this oh perfect <laughs> oh my god isn't it great chris i know it's my dream <laughs> i have goosebumps everywhere <laughs> this is out of this world what a birthday i know happy birthday so once we relaxed a little bit and freshened up we headed out i had made reservations for us i have been craving this forever celebrating my birthday in ghana I have been wanting sushi forever and I was so happy. Good night. 
So the next morning I woke up and uh, I decided let's go have some brunch. I've been hearing so much about this place and it was highly recommended from a lot of my foodie friends from social media in Accra. They told me I would love it and they were absolutely correct. Let me tell you, the service, the staff, the ambiance, the food, everything about this place was amazing. Come have some brunch with us at La Gardenia in Accra, oh. Ghana. Oh. From the moment you walked in, this place was aesthetically pleasing. Hello. How are you the staff there? was friendly and welcoming. We were seated promptly and decided to order off of the brunch menu. But first drinks. I have been obsessed with espresso martinis lately. Mom had a mimosa. Cheers, my darling. But my martini wasn't martiniing enough, so I decided to add a shot of Bailey. And that did the true juice. Pops had the classic English breakfast with sausage, baked beans, eggs. Little sis had the suya encrusted chicken wing. And mom had the buttermilk pancake with custard and caramel popcorn. I had the mixed berry French toast supreme with mixed Thank berry so compote, much. cotton candy, and creme fraiche. Bon appetit, guys. As you can see, we did not like anything. Mm -mm. We didn't like it at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The food was incredible. We finished with some espresso and coffee and a fruit and cheese plus I added milk to my espresso and turned it into a cappuccino. Cheers. Overall, I give our dining experience a hundred class. The food was delicious and the ambiance was beautiful. I highly recommend if you're in Accra, Ghana. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay, bye. So with all that being said, these are my personal opinions. These are my personal experiences of being in Ghana in the central region of Cape Coast and Asebu and Agendum. And with that being said, I have decided to move on. I love my parents very dearly and they have chosen to stay. They have land that they purchased in Agendum and hopefully they'll eventually start building on it. But as for me, my time in Ghana has come to an end. I will be back to visit them, however, and hopefully they can join me on my adventures as I'm so super excited for the future and I can't wait to share with you all the new and exciting opportunities that are coming my way. I want to thank everyone that was kind, genuine, and honest and also thank the unscrupulous liars thieves and connivers you all made me stronger don't forget to comment like share and subscribe